Good morning, Dr. Eric Kleginski here at Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today, uh, we're gonna answer the question that I typically get asked in the office almost every single day. Doc, how did I injure my back? Essentially, there's two reasons why you would injure your back. Number one is macro trauma. With macro trauma, we're talking about the bigger injuries, uh, sports injuries in high school, uh, car accidents, falls. Uh, these are considered macro traumas, okay, where there's a a sudden jolt, um, a quick uh, injury that causes damage to the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the soft tissue, uh, sometimes the disc, sometimes the nerve, um, and even the bone in more severe cases. Okay, the macro traumas are the number one. Now a macro trauma can be small where you're rear-ended and you don't realize you're hurt, you might be sore for a few days, uh, and then months down the road or even years down the road, you start to develop a problem. The second most common reason somebody injures their back is micro trauma. And micro traumas are more insidious. So it's kind of more like the, the daily tasks that you're doing, how you sleep, how you sit in your work chair, if you do something one sided more than the other. Um, these micro traumas add up over time and have a cumulative effect. Okay? Um, so we see typically those two types of injuries in our office every single day. Sometimes this combination, sometimes those smaller macro traumas combined with the micro traumas create, again, a more cumulative effect and cause injury. Whatever the case may be, if you are injured or you feel like you're uh, exhibiting any type of pain, the first thing you do is take care of it as quickly as possible. Don't wait. We see a lot of people come in where they can barely walk, they can barely stand, and then it takes much longer to, to uh, remedy the problem. Remember, Pain is kind of like our only signal that our body tells us something's wrong. Uh, and if we ignore it, either by just kind of uh, just dealing with the pain uh, until it gets worse and doing the same activities, then it becomes much of a bigger, bigger problem. Another way to ignore it is to pop pills, okay? You keep taking pills throughout the day. I have patients that come in and told me that they're taking you know, 8, 10, 12, 12 Advil uh, within a 24-hour period. Uh, that's doing two different problems to that person. Number one is, is obviously it's not good to take all that medication. Uh, it has an effect on your liver, on your kidneys, on your stomach. Um, but secondarily is you're silencing your body's ability to tell you something's wrong. And when you do that, uh, you can make the injury much worse because if you can't feel the pain, what happens is you continually do the same stuff over and over again, making the injury worse and worse and worse over time. So these are two things to consider. If you are experiencing pain in your neck, in your back, wherever it is, uh, just give us a call. We can do an assessment. Sometimes we can get somebody uh, feeling better and corrected in just one visit. Sometimes it takes a few, but if you do wait for longer periods of time, then it obviously it's gonna take longer to, to fix and remedy. Uh, that's all we got for you today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, shoot me a message, uh, give us a call, uh, check out our website. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. Uh, we are back in the office tomorrow, uh, Thursday, 9 to 12, 3 to 6, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.